The residents of Old Fadama are appealing to government to give the community a facelift. Speaking to our reporter Joseph Armstrong, a day after Fagata the slum, the residents say they are ready to support government in any effort to improve infrastructure and provide other social services in the area. The building you see there is where it all started. And a day after the fire engulfed this place, the residents are here trying to salvage the little they have left. And also, it is evident that from the way these buildings have been sited here, there was no clear supervision, which indeed make it very difficult for the fire service personnel to get access to the point where the fire started. A visit to the place Monday afternoon saw a hopeless situation for victims. Where I'm standing currently, I'm told it's a spot, and down there is a guest house where people who travel from the north come to sleep. Unfortunately, the fire did not spare this guest house, and it has consumed it. And people who are, are traveling from the north now would have to find a different place to go and place their head. The victims who could not hold back their tears said they have lost goods worth thousands of cities. It is unclear what started the fire as eyewitnesses say they only heard a loud noise and saw smoke emanating from one of the buildings. We hear the team blast three and then we to run uh, before that and we, we bring water. But actually like we should have solved the problem because the building there it was uh, only one decent who catch a uh, fire. Like we should have solved the problem. By three months now, we don't have water around this area. So we were using the field. By the time the provision stores, uh, which is uh, around this area, they, they get to know that if they didn't help us with the water, they, it will burn their, they, their stores. Like it was late. These crab dealers were cashing in on the unfortunate incident. For this woman, she can't even locate the site of her building. The assemblyman of the area wants government to give the community a facelift. I must admit, the fire service didn't get here in time. Uh, coupled with the fact that when they got here, almost after two hours, uh, access into the community was also a bit of a problem. The town and country planning should come in with full force. The AMA should come in with full force so that there will be clear-cut demarcations with regards to our road and then gutters in the community. Later, a delegation from the opposition NDC, led by a member of parliament for Odududio, Neil and Tevandapo and Nadmon officials, visited the scene. What has happened has opened all of us our eyes. It is important that we sit down as a community, relate to the difficulty we find ourselves in today, and see what remedial measures we have to put in place. We pray that it doesn't happen again, but if it should happen again, what will be the sort of uh, situation we have created that will make it easier for us to get relief. He promised support for victims. I can assure you that the office of the former president has indicated that they are ready to assist me to be able to look at what we can do immediately for some of them. The fire is reported to have started at about noon on Sunday. This is not the first time fire has swept through the community. In 2010 and 2013, Fire engulfed the area, destroying several property as a result of a gas explosion. Joseph Armstrong, TV3, Old Fadama, Accra.